Hey y'all, it's your girl McKay with Janae here, back with another video, and in today's little video, I will be talking about how to properly and just a nice way to fire clients. My last setting boundaries video, I was telling you guys that recently, even this week, I've had to fire clients. When you're starting out creating something or starting a business, you can never imagine that one day you're going to be turning people down. And I used to see hairstylists and they'd be like, well, I'm going to close my books. I don't want to accept any more clients like I'm full I like my set I'm good and I was like why would you stop the money why would you turn anyone down and why would you take that money which first of all you hear me saying money which money is not where God wants your focus to be at all so that's how you know that there is a good and a bad client that you want or a good and a bad friend and it's okay to turn people around it's okay to decline things because guess what there's no good thing that God will withhold from you and this is when it comes to discernment God really be protecting me from crazy clients from bad situations from maybe a client not paying me properly you no know, and the question would also come up well what warrants a firing here's some things that warrant a client being fired repeated cancellation of appointments when someone repeatedly cancels their appointments or you know cancels their orders or cancels plans on you they're not one valuing your time then two they're not respecting your boundaries to think that oh she's just gonna be there she's just gonna be around like when I text her again she gonna come or she need my money so I'm gonna just keep trying to book with her but it's not high on my priority list. No. When a client or a friend or anybody keeps repeatedly canceling on you, no. After like the third or fourth time, it's time to let them go. Even if they've never sat in your chair before, even if they have, you can fire them. And you can say, I'd rather not keep this going. I like to say, I don't believe we're a good match. Thank you for choosing me as your stylist. But I don't think this is going to work anymore, any longer, whatever you want to say. And I do hope you find another style. Period. Another thing is someone who never has enough cash on them that don't make no sense either people who can't pay the full price people who's always asking for a discount people who are like I said in everyday life always borrowing money and never paying you back you can let them go you can fire them too because when people are once again it's all about respect if you feel disrespected in a situation it's okay to let that client in that situation go and completely cut it off okay if you feel like you're being used in a situation i had one client keep trying to book with me after closing time and he's like well the only time i can come in is like 7 a.m or 6 p.m when i get off work but don't i get off work at 5 and don't i go to work at 10 people are not respecting your boundaries and he was just like well that's the only time i can come or maybe a sunday maybe i work from tuesday to saturday 10 to 5 10 to 3 on saturdays what I say is what I say. I can't work out of those boundaries. I cannot. I don't do squeezing fees because that just that doesn't work for me. People also don't realize like I'm one not money hungry and two I'm 21 years old. I turned 22 this year. I don't want to start my life. I can't even say live my life. I'm just now starting my life always in a salon okay yes that'll bring me extra money doing squeezing fees like oh where am i squeeze you in at if my if my book is full and i am busy from 10 to 5 so now i'm adding an extra time on top or underneath and it's just like why why would i do that and that's taking time away from my family realize why you're doing something realize why you have that relationship or that friendship if you're doing it for the money Go ahead but i'm not doing it for the money i do what i do because i love it and enjoy it and i like to provide things for people and i love to create that's really what it is i love to create so if people can never find the time to prioritize their hair or themselves they're not the client for you it's about finding people that fit what you're looking for and if that person does not fit what you're looking for or looking for in a client you can let them go i had a client this week that canceled her appointment the morning of okay that's cool but that wasn't her first time doing that well no it's actually not cool if you're canceling your appointment the morning of I already prepared for you and th the reason wasn't good whenever people be trying to like get out of stuff like especially over text messages people can kind of sweet talking sugarcoat over the phone or text message they have to think about think about they lie and write it down and like try to make it make sense so they're trying to get something out of you but i'm like i'm already seeing where you're going with this people try to find excuses where they be like well how much is it if i bring my own hair how much is it if you don't wash people who's trying to subtract stuff and add on stuff and what if i bring this 
they're not the right client for you either because once again it's about respect that means they're not respecting your price what you set aside let that go and one the one thing i had to realize you're gonna have to fire some friends too as clients or people you're working with it don't matter how long i've known you when it becomes to a point where the respect is lost and we're no longer it's not working on a business level anymore cut ties cut ties when you have goals and you're trying to get somewhere with your business not even roll around money when you're just trying to build something if people can't get it it doesn't matter how long you've known them let them go because if they're not an asset to you they're a liability okay they are harming your business by taking up your time when you could put better people in those slots like i said pass to math if it's not adding up you have to let them go it is completely okay to fire clients it's completely okay to cut ties business wise as long as it makes sense for your business let go and let god okay that's all i'm telling you guys today don't be afraid to do it just do it in the nicest way possible at this point i have a script i don't get personable i don't even explain what happened it don't matter what happen the point is i no longer want to provide you with the service i no longer want to have you in my space i no longer think this relationship is working at this time and i hope you find someone else period and it's not about even being ugly like i said it's about praying for that discernment and allowing god to show me who's for me and who has good spirits and good energy and who is someone that needs my services or needs to talk to me at this time and that's it. Lean heavy on that discernment because you don't want to be entangled with the wrong people and the wrong energy because that's when situations occur. A lot of times, y'all can be saved from a lot of situations, a lot of bad friendships that fall apart or things that end dramatically. If you would have prayed for discernment and be like, Lord, should I even mess with this person? Should I get into this deep? You can have a lot of superficial relationships and superficial appointments but whenever you get a little bit deeper and they're like oh well can i do this or or you know i'm gonna pay you next time you went too deep you didn't pray about that you didn't lean on that still small voice in the back of your head telling you don't mess with her like that let this appointment go it don't matter how much you're trying to pay you don't do it start listening because most of the time, a lot of people are not using their common sense. They're not using God as their ally in their business, and they should. But that's all I have to say for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. More videos like this are on the way. I'm going to see you guys next week.